projectile motion mechanics is a branch of physics which deals with the study of motion of a particle different kinds of motion are translational vibrational and rotational in this chapter we will deal with the translational motion uniformly accelerated motion along a straight line motion is change in position of an object with respect to time position the position of a point object at a given instant of time is a point in the space at which the object exists at that instant of time displacement displacement of a particle is the change in its position in a particular direction path length path length is the actual distance traveled by the particle during its motion the distance traveled by a particle is always positive displacement can be positive or negative path length is actual distance covered by a particle average velocity average velocity is defined as the change in the displacement delta x bar divided by the time interval delta t in which the displacement occurs v average is equal to displacement upon time interval which is equal to x2 bar minus x1 bar upon t2 minus t1 which is equal to delta x bar upon delta t average velocity is a vector quantity so its si unit is meter per second and dimensions are l1 m0 t raised to minus 1 for a particle in motion the average velocity may be positive or negative average speed average speed of a particle is defined as the total path length traveled divided by the total time interval during which the motion has taken place average speed is equal to total path length upon total time interval the speed of the particle is never negative instantaneous velocity instantaneous velocity is defined as the limit of the average velocity as the time interval delta t becomes extremely small that is infinitesimal vector v is equal to delta x bar upon delta t which is equal to dx bar upon dt instantaneous speed instantaneous speed is the magnitude of instantaneous velocity the speedometer of an automobile measures the instantaneous speed of the automobile when the velocity of a particle goes on changing it is said to have accelerated motion average acceleration the average acceleration is defined as the change in velocity divided by the total time required for the change a bar average is equal to v2 bar minus v1 bar upon t2 minus t1 which is equal to delta v bar upon delta t instantaneous acceleration the instantaneous acceleration is defined as the acceleration of a particle at a particular instant it is the limit of the average acceleration as the time interval becomes infinitesimal a bar is equal to delta v bar upon delta t which is equal to dv bar upon dt si unit of acceleration is meter per second square the dimensions of acceleration are m raised to 0 l raised to 1 t raised to minus 2 position time x minus t graph and velocity time v minus t graph position time graph the motion of a particle can be represented and analyzed with the help of a graph showing the relationship between two quantities the study of position time graph enables us to know not only about the position of the particle but also the exact nature of the motion that is whether it is uniform motion or accelerated motion to study the position time graph three cases are discussed case 1 particle at rest the given figure shows the position time graph of a particle at rest the position time graph of a particle at rest is a straight line parallel to the time axis slope of the graph is zero which indicates that velocity of a particle is zero intercept along the position axis gives the distance of the stationary particle from origin zero case 2 a particle moving with constant velocity the figure shows position time graph with positive constant velocity this figure shows the position time graph with negative constant velocity slope of the graph is given by delta x upon delta t is equal to change in position upon time in which the change takes place the slope is constant and it gives the average velocity 
The average velocity of a particle can be positive or negative depending upon displacement. Case 3. Particle moving with variable velocity. The position time graph of a particle moving with a variable velocity is useful to calculate the average and instantaneous velocity of a particle. Slope of PQ gives the average velocity delta x upon delta t. Slope of delta x upon delta t of the tangent at point R gives the instantaneous velocity. Velocity time graph. In velocity time graph, we will discuss three cases. Case 1. Particle moving with constant velocity. As the velocity is constant, the graph will be a straight line parallel to the time axis. As velocity is constant, the acceleration is zero. Case 2. Particle moving with constant acceleration. Figure A represents the velocity time graph of a particle moving with constant acceleration. The slope of the graph delta v upon delta t is equal to plus a gives the acceleration at different points. The initial velocity u of the particle is zero. Figure B shows velocity time graph of the same particle having finite initial velocity u. Slope is equal to bd upon ad which is equal to v minus u upon t which is equal to acceleration. Figure C shows velocity time graph of a particle moving with constant negative acceleration. The velocity decreases with increase in time. Slope of the graph is equal to delta v upon delta t which is equal to minus a. Negative acceleration is called retardation or deceleration. In all these cases the displacement of a particle during a particular time interval can be obtained by considering area under the graph with prescribed time interval. Case 3 Particle moving with variable acceleration Figure A shows that the velocity of a particle increases constantly. Slope of the graph is positive and increases with time. Figure B shows that the velocity of a particle decreases continuously. Slope of the graph is positive but decreases with time. Kinematical equations for accelerated motion in vector form. One dimension. Consider a particle moving along the straight line with velocity v bar. Let u bar be the initial velocity of a particle. It is given by a uniform acceleration a bar. So that its velocity goes on changing. Let v bar be the velocity of the particle after time t. S bar be the displacement in time t. The first kinematical equation is V bar is equal to U bar plus A bar t. The second kinematical equation is S bar is equal to U bar t plus one half A bar t square. The third kinematical equation is V square is equal to U square plus two A bar S bar. Projectile motion. Projectile. An object thrown in the air with initial velocity in any direction making some angle with the horizontal moving freely under the action of gravity is called as a projectile. Examples, a bullet fired from a gun, a football kicked in air, a stone thrown obliquely in air, etc. Equation of a path of a projectile. Consider a particle projected from the point zero, which is the origin of the Cartesian coordinate system in the xy plane with velocity u bar in a direction making angle theta with the horizontal. The equation of the trajectory of the projectile is y is equal to tan theta into x minus into bracket g upon 2 u square cos square theta bracket complete x square. We can write tan theta is equal to alpha and g upon 2u square cos square theta is equal to beta, where alpha and beta are constants. From the above equation, it is seen that y is a function of x and has a form y is equal to alpha x minus beta x square. This is the equation of a parabola. Thus, the projectile moves along a parabolic path. Time of flight t. Time taken by a projectile to cover the entire trajectory is called as time of flight t. t is equal to 2u sin theta upon g. t is the time in which the projectile returns to the original plane of projection, that is, at point c in the figure. Time of ascent is equal to time of descent, which is equal to u sin theta upon g. Horizontal range r. 
the horizontal distance between the point of projection and the point on the same horizontal plane at which the projectile returns after moving along its trajectory is called as the horizontal range that is r of the projectile r is equal to u square sin 2 theta upon g for the given initial speed the horizontal range of the projectile will be maximum when it is projected with an angle of 45 degrees therefore r max is equal to u square upon g maximum height of projectile h it is the maximum vertical distance traveled by the projectile from the ground level during its motion h is equal to u square sin square theta upon 2g the horizontal range of projectile is same for the angle of projection theta and 90 minus theta case 1 when theta is equal to 45 degrees h is equal to h max which is equal to u square upon 4g r is equal to r max which is equal to u square upon g therefore r max is equal to 4h max case 2 theta is equal to 90 degrees therefore h is equal to u square upon 2g r is equal to 0